story about Europe versus the U.S., not in a sports competition, but a weather one. It's a subject of my Good Question report. Two big weather forecast models you hear Rich mention a lot, uh, the U.S. and European models. So which one is better at actually predicting the weather? Beth Coleman reached out to me for this. And I was curious why we need to look at the European models and study them for weather in the U.S. Okay. I can't answer that question. I'm not an expert in that department, but I can take you to somebody who can. Would you mind walking with us? Sure. All right, let's go. Rich, this is Beth Coleman. So I was curious why we need to look at the European models for weather in the U.S. Well, there's a lot of uh, thought that the uh, European model tends to be a little bit more accurate sometimes than the American model. And one of the reasons for that is it just has more computing power. It's a, a more advanced computing system that they've been using. And in a couple of recent big storms, it's had some very, very big hits, including uh, Hurricane Sandy when it made that turn, that left turn into New Jersey and New York City. It was the European model that predicted it, and none of the other ones did. It predicts it a little bit faster. It catches on the changes a little bit ahead of the other models. But those changes can make a world of difference. Oh, they make a huge difference. That's the difference between two feet of snow and flurries in the winter. Does that, that solve it for you? It does, yes. You've answered the question. That's great. Do it for me, though. I wanted real-time results. <laughs> so, Rich, we shot this story last Friday. The European model predicted about 1.66 inches of rain for this past uh, Friday. The U.S. model predicted closer to two inches. So, <laughs> which one was right? I can't believe it. What? You know how much rain they had at the airport? How much? 1.66 inches. Really? The European <laughs> model was right on the money. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. We had taped it ahead of time. There you go. That's pretty remarkable. Now, I'll give the American model credit for one thing. It was hitting at some heavier tallies, and they were closer to two-inch amounts out in Orleans County, just okay. west of town. So, it's, you know, it's a little give and take. But at the airport, the European I, I, model that's nailed That's amazing. It. Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. It's a tenth of an inch. <laughs> that's <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Go with Europe when it comes to weather forecasting, I guess. Hey, if you have a question you'd like me to answer, send me an email. Good question at whec.com. Thank you very much, Rich. Good doing that story with you, buddy.